oh, you keep eating plantain. Keep eating plantain. They say plantain contains iron. I normally ask people, do you know the percentage? What is the quantity of iron contained in a, in a plantain? Many people don't know. But they just hear other people say it has uh, iron and they agree. For the blood group O, oh, don't take too much iron. Do you know why? Because you are a general donor. A blood group O is a general donor. His blood or her blood is light by nature. Then you take certain things that make it lighter. Then you have no clotting factor. You have no clotting factor. That's another sickness on its own. Then a blood group O that is eating wheat is predisposing his or herself to diabetes. You keep eating wheat. You keep eating corn. You predispose yourself to those diabetes. Why? Every human being is made up of sugar molecules. The blood group O is made up of fucose sugar molecule. The blood group A is made up of fucose and N-acetylene. The blood group uh, B is fucose and D-galactosamine. Why the AB is made up of the sugar of A and B. So naturally, if you eat a food that does not contain your type of sugar, your body will be looking for where to keep the sugar. And when the sugar is too much in the body, it converts into fat. When converted into fat, it will store in the liver. And once it has saturated the liver, diabetes starts. Because the remaining sugar that cannot be converted will begin to go around the body. Some people will treat malaria. They will treat malaria. And the malaria never ever goes away. Do you not ask yourself why? Check your liver. It may be fatty. Because fatty liver gives you that malaria feeling all the time. Because when your bile is trying to break down fat, and then the fat is coming over, the bile is underworking, you begin to feel that malaria. Say, my mouth is bitter every time. Are you understanding something? Because of time, I have to rush it. Okay? Now, let us just quickly check some of the things that some blood groups will not eat. And then, if you really want, you can ask me later. Now, for the blood group A, you know, they say, uh, doctors will tell you that when you are 40, you should begin to mind how you eat cow meat, right? Is that what the doctors tell us? Good. It's good, though, but for certain people. There are certain diets that are good for certain people. I always make an example with the lion and the elephant. What food does the elephant eat? Grass and fruits and vegetable. That's what the elephant eats. What about the lion? Flesh. Have you ever seen lion eating fruit and vegetable? Lion and the elephant, who is fatter? It's a simple story. Now, you see the two of them. You see who is heavier and who is fatter. It means that there are certain diets some people will take that will not be okay for them. And there are certain, like, you go, you are blood group O, you go on a vegetarian diet. You are bringing trouble for yourself. You are blood group O, you are looking very thin. Very, very thin. Something is wrong. Blood group O's are majestic people by nature. Because they are meat eaters. I did not say you should eat meat with fat. The fat is not okay. There are lean meat you can eat. Blood group O, whether you have passed 40, please don't eat, don't stop eating meat. Eat meat in good quantity, seven times a week. If your doctor asks him, please give him my number, 80 372 73-080-372-195-73. If your doctor asks you, give him my number. Let me educate him a little on it. I hope we know that nutrition is not being taught in medical school. 
You know it. Nutrition is not part of the course. We learn when we are in medical school. If you want to know about nutrition, you have to go the extra mile. Somebody was talking. You are diabetic. Eat beans, eat beans, eat beans. And he was telling a blood group B to be eating beans. And I said, okay, what is the molecular difference? What is the chemical difference between protein and carbohydrate? There is one difference. Just one small difference. Who know it? Okay, sir. Eh? Please, clap for this, my brother. Are you a doctor? Are you a chemist? You are a biochemist. Read it very well. When you finish biochemist, go back to medical school. I have asked so many people, and they don't know anything about it. Nitrogen. Nitrogen. Now, for the blood group B, who keeps eating beans? That nitrogen goes to the kidney. The kidney of the blood group B is not efficient enough to digest that thing. Then he keeps storing. He keeps storing. Take a research. Somebody says scientific proof. What other scientific proof do you need than your body, your own body, to do the straight calculation? Take a research. In dialysis center, I have done my own research. 75% is blood group B. And when I have opportunity to talk to them, I tell them, stop eating beans. Stop eating gari. Stop eating ugu. Stop eating chicken. The chicken that they say is white meat is not good for everybody. The same cholesterol contained in chicken is the same cholesterol contained in cow meat. Our meat here in Nigeria is what the Oibo people call organic. Do you understand? Our cows eat grass. Our meat is healthy, 100%. If they kill our own type of cow there, they call it organic. Our own penapu here, they call it organic. And then you buy it very expensive. But here, we are learning to eat their own Kong Kong food. When I was in school, I told them, I'm not eating your food. I will eat Nigerian food. Go and make Ogbono or Egusi. Put it inside Kong Kong and come and sell it there. I'm still waiting for who will do that so that Nigeria took and expand. Are you getting something today? Good. Now, blood group O, do not eat granite. You should ask me why. Very good. You know, granite, very interesting. I love granite. I used to farm granite, and I will eat and eat and eat. But in those days, I noticed something. When I'm walking, I have this funny dizziness in the head, this funny headache. Somebody called me and said, I have been having a headache for the past 40 years. And I asked the person, are you hypertensive? He said, no. That since he was a child. I said, do you eat granite? He said he can eat six buckets of granite, only him. I said, there you are. That's why you will have headache 40 years. He stopped that granite eating for just three months. And he, did, he didn't drink any medicine, oh, and he didn't have the headache again. Blood group O and blood group B. Granite is not okay for you. Cashew nut is not okay for you. Though blood group B, they do well on other nuts. But blood group O, you don't do well on nuts. Because those nuts contain aflatoxins that your body cannot digest. Your body cannot send out. But for the blood group A, granite is very beneficial for them. Do you get? One man's food is another man's. It, it, our forefathers talk about, but as if they know what they are doing. Biochemists, I leave you with a lot of research. So do the research for us. Okay? Yogurt. Blood group O, no yogurt for you. Blood group A and B, take yogurt. What about milk? They say milk contains calcium, right? Blood group O, please, no milk for you. Milk is not a good source of calcium for you. Because naturally, as a blood group O, you were wired from heaven not to be able to break down lactose. Some hypertension and diabetes in the blood group O is caused by milk. Then you see some children, 24 hours a day, 
their nose is leaking. Their nose is leaking. They will go to the doctor. They will take vitamin C. They will, there's nothing they will not give them. Antibiotic, everything. But the nose is still leaking. Just stop giving your children. If you are O or A, stop giving them milk for just one month and see whether their nose will not dry off. All those cough, 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 asthma, asthma, asthma. They will not have it again. Just try it. It's a simple thing. Try it. And after one month, if it doesn't work, when you see me pass, just turn me. It's very simple. Okay? Blood group A, please do not eat meat. Cow meat. Blood group A, don't eat cow meat. Cow meat predisposes you to heart problems. Bush meat, goat meat, ram meat, all of them, red meat, don't eat it at all. Don't say you will eat kanda or shaki and uh, or everything from Mr. Cow. Blood group A, just tell it bye-bye. Just tell it bye-bye. But blood group O, enjoy. Blood group B, eat cow meat maybe once a week. But you can eat liver, you can eat uh, intestine, cow leg, as much as you like. But the red meat itself, blood group B, please eat it only once a week. Your best meat is ram, cow, uh, goat. They are okay for you. But blood group A, eat snail, eat turkey, eat chicken. But blood group B, do not eat chicken, please. Chicken and tomato predisposes a blood group B to a disease called lupus. I guess some people have not heard that disease before. It's lupus. Your tissue begins to fight each other. They don't recognize each other again. For a blood group O, if you say you pass 40 and you stop eating meat, you have arthritis. Because you are a proteinous person by nature and you don't have the building blocks of protein. You don't have the building blocks of protein. If you think that you are blood group O and you want to lose weight, if you want to lose weight O, eh, please, don't eat bread. Don't take corn. Blood group O, don't eat bread. Don't take corn. Don't take dawa. Don't drink pap. No custard. Somebody say, what if we go to the chop? <laughs> Blood group O, you know there are so many diets. There are so many types of diets. But there's no one that has specifically told you, say, eat like this. Eh? Now, blood group O, you are a proteinous being by nature. Blood group A, they are vegetarians by nature. They will do very well on a vegetarian diet, but they must mix it with some protein. While blood group B is oibo, fruit and vegetable people. You know, they say fruit is good for everybody. Eh? Is that what you hear everywhere? That's not true, please. That's not true. Blood group A, uh, O, if you want to try something, eat apple in the night. In the night, when you finish eating, eat apple and see what happened to you in your sleep. That's how some people will dream that somebody is chasing them. But it's actually what they eat. You wake up in the morning, under of your leg is paining you. You get up, the under of your leg is paining you. You cannot walk. What is the problem? You are eating the wrong carbohydrate. But blood group O, whether you have diabetes, please eat gari, gari, gari. Don't eat wheat. Eat gari, but blood group B, do not eat gari. Do not eat gari at all, because gari can make a blood group B have diabetes. Are you understanding me? What about Irish potato? How many of us love Irish potato? If you are blood group O and A, bye-bye. Leave it for B, uh, B and AB. But sweet potato, blood group O, eat sweet potato. Uh, blood group A, no potato, no yam, no cocoa yam. No any type of yam. 